All right, welcome to part two. Now, I'm going to note, by the way, that one of the reasons that I'm basically, you know, sort of breaking this up into parts, like, before I've actually, like, beaten the entire roguelike, because, you know, I could die any time in a roguelike, I'm actually fairly confident at this point that I can actually make it through these levels without dying, like, the earlier levels, so why not? I'll just naturally break up stuff. There's an ogre down there. I'll not disturb him. And a bunch of vampire bats down there. Hey, look at that. Everything saw me. And everything's still coming after me. I can take you out. Wow, this enemy actually really hurt. It actually got a few hits on me. Um... I can't use this on myself. Sadly, it doesn't how the Staff of Life works. Use this, though. If I need to. We're going to actually see if I can just sort of, you know, walk around with, like, less health successfully for a little bit. See, so, yeah, I'm getting a little bit uh, cocky at this point. This enemy didn't really kill me there because of how cocky I was. Let's see a rat, big deal. I'm just going to go up a few levels. Don't know why I'm going up anymore. I got my health more or less back, so... We're good to keep going back down, I think. Bring it. Okay, that is annoying. I'm hungry. Let's fix that. Okay, the ogre is there, and he's going to be annoying until I get rid of him. Um, I got two of these, right? So let's just start using them. Boink. And of course, this ogre can probably kill me, you know, easily if I'm not careful, so. We're just gonna hit this guy with that many, you know, lightning. This guy can't heal the ogre very well, so, you know, him with lightning and then we'll just teleport away. Scroll of Enchanting, very nice. Um, I'm gonna actually start holding on to my Scrolls of Enchanting, I think, at this point. If um, I get like a plate armor, then I'll want to use those more or less on him, I think. Damn, this guy's coming after me, so... Let's start throwing darts at this guy, I guess. Whoops. Well, he just lured everyone to his presence. Boom. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh, that might be bad. I might have just caught fire to everything around us now. Because it might burn all the way up to here. It might. It might not. I don't know what's going to do. The fire. There's the ogre that I attacked from before, so let's go after him a little bit more. And zap. 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 Oops. Alright, we're out of charges, so this is the point to maybe start throwing, like, incinerating at him. He caught fire. There, I hit the ogre. And of course, he caught fire and stuff in here, so... That'll be an issue. I don't see anything in here, but the thing is, I'm wondering if there's like a secret door down here, and there is, so pick up this gold. 
And that's, of course, all burning over there. So that's fun. And I see a Wraith, of all things. Well, Wraiths are now an issue. Um... Alright, well our charges are not, so... Let's throw that at him. This might end badly with this guy around, but... Okay, he caught fire. And the thing about the Wraith is that he can really hurt me. Um, you know, high chance of hitting me. Well, he can do a lot of damage if he hits me too. So, well, that'll help a little bit. Okay, we defeated the Wraith, but he took out pretty much over, you know, 150% of my health. That one guy. Arrow turret, that could be a new issue if I go down there. There's the way down if I want to keep going down. There's a totem down there. I'm tempted to go down there, but might not be worth it just at the moment, so we'll hold off on that. I'm actually so, still waiting to get like a potion of like, you know, protect armor or something like that. You know, think about, I should probably be putting on the bad armor now. The thing about the uh, split mail is that it's not going to give me any more armor, so we'll do this for now. Because I know I'm going to get more armor from that. Ow. Alright, so there's two guys down here. Pop them both. Kill that. Alright, no pa path for fur exploration. Gotta watch out for wraiths, but you know, that's something to watch out for. Okay, rations of food. A wandering spider. I deal with that guy. Let's throw this at him. And let's burn him. If necessary. I should probably just stick to this for a moment. Pop. Pop. He's almost dead. He's in caustic gas too, right? So, actually, I should move away because the caustic gas could come after me. And he died. Webs are terrible. I wish there was like something to make webs a little bit easier to use, but oh well. No path for fur exploration means I have to go for the webs. Oops, there's a spark turret. Nice, potion of strength. Um, you know, thinking about what I might want to do with the, with the uh, potion of strengths now, if um, I already have enough strength, like, you know, I already have enough strength for, like, my armor I'm wearing. I won't have, have enough strength for splint mail. I may just hold off on uh, using the um, potion of strength until, like, I run off into, uh, into a centipede or something like that. Alright, there's definitely a door right there. Just 
just a sleeping toad over there. Goblin Conjurer. That just got dispatched. Nice, Bloodwort. Oh, my pack is too full to pick that up. So we finally got to the point where I've got too much stuff on me. Um, we're going to start ditching stuff, and I think the first thing I'll ditch is this letter armor. Makes sense, right? And all right, we're on to the next soundtrack. We still got a few. All right, so this is explosive gas that this ass amount is in. Boom. He catches fire. I actually want to run away now because I just uh, triggered a whole lot of fire. That's all going to burn now. Luckily, this uh, vial of flask is not going to burn because I guess uh, the explosion didn't kill it. Centipede. Um, let's move this way for now, for the centipede. I don't want to get my strength drained just, you know, automatically, so I won't. That is much better. Snuck out on him. Hey, cool. Teleportation recharged. And look at that. All this stuff is finished burning. Uh, I want that, that flask, so... Let's ditch the scale mail next. Get the gold. Now, ah, oh crap, I got caught by something. Alright, well, uh, the bog monsters caught me here. He has a 100% chance, chance to hit me, it does quite a bit of damage. I have, uh, you know, not as much chance to basically hurt this guy. So we're just going to uh, teleport away from him. And there's a vampire bat there. A couple of them. Alright, I'm gonna hit the bloat. Poof. He goes up. And he saw me, this uh, vampire bat. Well, he's out of the way. This is, of course, all explosive gas. I was tempted to, like, you know, go around here and, like, you know, test these potions, but I don't want to do it on top of explosive gas, so I'll avoid that. Oh, I caught unaware that uh, vampire bat. All right, I really have to, should be testing the potions I've got now. So, if I clear this level, I'm going to probably do so, I guess. I feed something apparently. Must've been a bog monster.
keep buying crap, which is not exactly a bad thing, but... Alright, what am I dropping this time? This, maybe? Actually, I've got a second flail. I don't really need two flails, so... Drop that flail. Let's explore up here for a moment. There's a way down if I want to go down to the next level, but it's not it's too early to be like dungeon diving, so or you know, diving down to get, you know, fired and fire, so there's no point in doing that just yet. Let's ditch this letter armor. This is a good place to start doing, you know, testing, but he's right over there, so let's see here. I'm gonna go down this way and just explore around over here perhaps. Oh, this could be perfect. Nope, it's still a little bit far away to get to him. Well, it saw me now. Um let's do this to him. So one hit, two hits, oh, I killed it. There's another Wraith, but this one's sleeping at least. A Warring Spider. Um, you know what? Let's actually test these potions, because if it it's a, if it's a potion of ignition, the, the spire is you know going to basically be unable to uh, web me because I'll be burning the web. So, yeah, incineration. Now I'm just going to go after him with uh, lightning. Like you know, whatever. I'm burning. I don't care. Of course, now I'm. A, you know, one away, but whoops! I just woke up everyone. Everyone's awake, and of course, there's billing flames in the water, which is not going to result in good things. I'm going to take some damage here, but hopefully I can take out this spider. Okay, defeat him. Uh, no. This is really hurting me. This is actually not the ideal way to be doing this. I may have done that wrong. And this is, of course, not charged up, so. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use invisibility. Hope that they lose track of me. And just try and get out over here. Nope, I died. So, there's a mistake I made. I thought that, you know, 
Um, it might be a good idea to like be on fire and go after the spire, but the problem was that though, all this water was right there, so it was actually a bad place to do it. But whatever. There's a, another run. It's funny how that's my uh, fourth best run, but you know, that's what happens when uh, you get better, I guess. And like, you know, that's like, you know, uh, a decent run, I guess. Well, anyhow, that's sort of unfortunate how that ended, but, you know, that's broke. And I guess that's good enough for a little bit. Um, I'll note that uh, I'm basically possibly going to make this my last episode. Because uh, next uh, week, on um, Friday, you'll be able to see uh, um, a Steam... something. Basically, there's this robot called Steam Marines, and I basically had it on my desktop for a while, and I you know, wanted to play it. I think I've shown off enough of Broke to sort of like showcase what this game's all about, and you know, eventually I might beat this game, but uh, it's just something that you know is is wearing on me. You know, sort of playing it. I'll note that these are not my type of Rolex, like the traditional type of Rolex, like what I'm playing right now. Like Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, it like had more depth to it, and like you know, um, it's like more to explore in it, right? Because there's like mo lots of doing that game. But Broke's kind of simplistic in how it basically works, so I basically think I've shown off enough of it. So. You can leave me a comment. Maybe if like some people want me to, I can like do some more episodes of Brogue. But at this point, I think I've done enough to basically showcase what the game's all about. Anyhow, take care. Hope you've enjoyed.